Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. The Vatican approved a miracle attributed to Polish Cardinal Stefan Wyszynski, moving him one step closer to sainthood. Cardinal Wyszynski was the Archbishop of Genenzo and Warsaw, and he is credited for the survival of Catholicism in Poland during the reign of the communist regime. The miracle concerns a 19-year-old woman who got sick in 1988 with an incurable thyroid cancer. She was completely healed through the intercession of Cardinal Wyszynski in 1989. Wyszynski was also instrumental in the approval of Karol Wotyla as Archbishop of Krakow in 1964, who later became Pope St. John Paul II. A Catholic approach to politics was the focus at the Archdiocese of Toronto that hosted a debate on the 2019 Canadian federal election at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. Candidates from all five major political parties participated in the debate. Archbishop of Toronto Cardinal Thomas Collins said the whole point of conducting the debate was to present a Catholic approach to politics that relies on reason and discernment. Within 12 hours, over 3,400 people had watched the two-hour and 10-minute debate on YouTube, covering a wide array of topics from abortion to Christian persecution. The Archdiocese of Toronto is Canada's largest diocese, stretching from Toronto to Georgian Bay and from Oshawa to Mississauga. It is home to more than 2 million Catholics and 225 churches, with Mass celebrated in 30 languages every week. Thirteen new cardinals were appointed by Pope Francis during an ordinary public consistory at St. Peter's Basilica. The new cardinals come from countries such as Democratic Republic of the Congo, Angola, Indonesia, Morocco, Cuba, and Guatemala. Ten of the new cardinals are under the age of 80, and each of them received a ring and were assigned a titular church. Later that day, the Holy Father and the new cardinals went to the Mater Ecclesiae Monastery to meet Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Pope Emeritus reminded the new cardinals of the value of fidelity to the Pope and gave them a blessing. As Pope Francis celebrated the opening mass of the Synod of Bishops for the Amazon, he said that the Catholic Church's mission in the world is to spread the fire of God's love. He reminded everyone that the proclamation of the gospel is the main criteria for the life of the Church. Most of the 185 voting members of the Amazon Synod are bishops or priests from nine countries, including Brazil, Ecuador, Venezuela, Suriname, Peru, Colombia, Bolivia, Guyana, and French Guyana. It was at the Angelus on October 15, 2017, that Pope Francis announced he was gathering a special assembly of bishops in order to identify new pathways for the Church and for an integral ecology. It is time to know the correct statistics, said U.S. Senators Joni Ernst and Tom Cotton, who have introduced a new act titled the Ensuring Accurate and Complete Abortion Data Reporting Act of 2019. This would require states to report abortion statistics to the U.S. Center for Disease Control. Co-sponsors of the Senate bill include Senators Marsha Blackburn, Tim Scott, Mike Braun, Kevin Kramer, Josh Howley, James Lankford, and Ben Sass. Senator Tom Cotton said that the American people deserve to know how many babies are born alive during abortion attempts in the country. He said the proposed bill would require states to report accurate and complete data about abortion, including instances where babies are born alive during abortions. Others have endorsed the effort to pass the legislation such as the Susan B. Anthony List and Americans United for Life. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.